Hello, YouTube. Um, I made a new character for Season 6. It's a witch doctor. Um, if you don't know, uh, Diablo Blizzard has started doing seasons, or they have been for many, many months. So I finally decided to give a try the uh, seasons and see how far I could get. This is just a witch doctor on expert. I just started, so I'm going to do some uh, commentary on just what I'm doing. Uh, I am going with uh, some zombie dogs and some basic fire bats. Uh, seem to be working pretty well. Uh, probably should have started this off at a little higher difficulty than expert because it just doesn't the challenge isn't there at this point, but I can't, I mean I could start over, but I would have to start all the way from the beginning, so I'm just going to ride it out and then increase the difficulty next time. Uh, the reason why I'm doing commentary uh, after the fact is because uh, I had to split this video into a couple parts, uh, just due to some technical issues I was having. I'm using Action by Marillus, and uh, my settings for uh, the vid capture was sticking the videos into the C drive instead of into a larger drive, so it was, you know, maxing out my C drive uh, in like less than an hour's worth of footage, so I had to switch it, but uh, I thought the footage was good, so um, uh, I just kept it. My skills are the ones you can see here. I, I switch them up later on, uh, just because I think I get haunt. And uh, haunt, I, I really like the way haunt works uh, because it's like a passive dot that sticks on something until it kills it, and then it jumps, which I think is really cool. So I like to kind of spam that to get on everything, and then it just jumps around. Uh, pretty satisfying. And I'm using uh, corpse spiders, which, uh, I mean, it's a drawer of spiders, you can't go wrong with that. And, uh, they do kind of um, stacking damage over time, so the more you put it out, the more spiders you're out. And uh, so I usually, at this point, I'm throwing out spiders a bunch and then finishing them off with uh, cone fire bats. This is my first real video footage for Diablo. Uh, I've been, as you can see from my channel, it's mostly Doom and Overwatch. So I thought I'd try doing something a little different this time. Because I really I like Diablo, but I haven't played it in a while. Uh, I have a few max level characters. I don't think any of them have max uh, um, Paragon points because I just it, I moved to other games at that point, and you know I'm not I don't profess to be uh, a high-level Diablo player. Um, I haven't gone uh, above Torment one or two in terms of difficulty. So here I'm just uh, trying to get to a um, stopping point with Leoric, so I'm going through the Leoric chain where you have to find the crown in the crypt. I haven't played Witch Doctor in a while, and it feels like uh, uh, dog damage has been buffed. They seem to be a little more. They're, they're always pretty survivable, but um, just the the damage output from them seems to be a little more balanced. Uh, they used to just be kind of meat shieldy, from what I remember. Gotta break. Gotta break. 
break everything. In fact, um, I'm spoiled a little bit. Um, breaking jars actually um, has a pretty good benefit later on in this footage. Uh, it's pretty, just pretty fortuitous RNG for me this time around. It's pretty, pretty happy with that. Now, for those of not, who aren't familiar with the way seasons work in Diablo, um, you start a brand new character, and you you start from all the, like basically square one. So that means if you have crafting patterns or transmogs, um, all that goes away for seasoned characters. Uh, so you have to start from square one. So if you want to craft armor, you have to level up your blacksmith again. Um, which I think that's fair. Um, the rewards for getting a seasoned character um, to high level are pretty nice. And so to make it fair, they it made it so you wouldn't have an advantage if you were starting over from scratch. I ran into some uh, some lag uh, during this video, and I'm not sure if it was on my end or if it was just if it was on Blizzard's end, but I was hitting some pretty high ping rates um, using Time Warner Cable. Uh, I haven't had a problem with them, uh, and I was hooked up was hooked up via Ethernet, so um, it was weird to see kind of what the, the high pings I was getting, because I don't really have a problem on other Blizzard games. Uh, so far, like, Overwatch runs like a dream. And uh, so does Heroes of the Storm. But it just, it was strange to me. Oh, sweet Darbats. Darbats is a fun, is a fun rune. Um, it, it turns your cone of bats into a, a line and makes it a giant flying, flaming bat. Uh, that does, I think it. I think the tooltip was 500% weapon damage, which is a lot. It's a lot of damage uh, per hit, and it, it passes through enemies. So now that I got the crown, I gotta go back to Blacksmith Heydrig. But he's got a problem. It's problem. Oh, we already solved that. Never mind. Yeah, we already uh, solved his, his marital problems. Problem being that his wife was a zombie. trying to deconstruct some stuff so I can get some materials to build some extra some higher level gear because obviously I'm pretty pretty naked right now. See, I gotta train my train blacksmith up if I want some higher level recipes. Um, most of that stuff is too high level for me to use anyway, which uh, I think it's, it's pretty good. You're, you're doing good on your blacksmith training when there's stuff that you can't use yet. Pretty good. It's a pretty good upgrade. It's 
pretty nice shield. Let's see what I get. And oh, sweet. That's a good upgrade. Alright, back to business. Fighting my bats. I've got to talk to that guy. I've got to talk to Deckard. Deckard Kane! At last! Go kill the Skeleton King! go. That's what I was talking about. You gotta break, break everything because you never know what random jar will be holding a legendary amulet. <clears throat> oh no, Skeleton. Oh, yeah. Treasure goblins drop a ton of loot, and they run away pretty fast. As you can see he's trying to he's kind of trying to pour it out, but you just gotta keep sustained damage on him. And then he drops a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff that I don't really need. That's okay though. It'll disenchant for, for stuff. Poor dead villager. That dead villager was falling. You get a little speed boost if you blow stuff up to uh, environment objects. Oh. Standing in fire does not give you a buff. Uh, those spiders have a rune on them called leaping spiders, which means that they leap on they leap from their initial drop point and do extra damage. Speed boost. Shrines give you special buffs. Time. Oh, a skeleton! Ooh, powered enemy. This one splits up into little clones. And has a freeze attack. Oh, well, don't stand in, in the frost. Oh, he didn't drop any loot. Drop gold, though.
and skeletons summon other skeletons. Can't trust any skeleton, not even your skeleton skeleton. Just trying to find my way to the exit. Oh, there it is on the map. doing that poor man. Who are you? Who is that man? You also get a, uh, a kill meter, so the more the more kills you rack up uh, without the meter expiring, the bigger the uh, multiplier bonus to your experience for that uh, that kill streak. Now I'm changing my summon dogs to rabbit dogs, which deals their damage. Over three seconds. Oh, and now we got a hunt. I noticed, um, I noticed earlier when I was playing this game that the zombie dogs aren't really canine in nature. They're just human bodies on all fours with dog heads. So, there's that. Pretty, pretty brutal. But, you know, the witch doctor raises the dead, so can't be too picky what comes out of the ground.
the story about Element. Gotta kill Jondar. You were Templar Jondar. How could you, How could you betray us, Jondar? The covenant, my brother, is now. The powers we serve will soon rule this world. Oh, he's dead. I guess I'll take you with me. Trying to make him not as weak by giving him some of my weapons. Oh no, bad things. And a colored enemy. I'm using a lot of. Kills and also bounces once it kills things. Oh, before you want kills, it's not bad. And uh, here's where I ran out of space. To uh, start out in the new video section. So, there's some, some footage missing. Scene missing. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Ooh, spiritual attunement. That's a good one. Oh, scary. I am Groot. He's a uh, uh, boogeyman rejects are pretty gross. Little imps store away in there. about them though is when they explode they do damage to everything around them including other enemies so you can kind of chain them uh, if they're kind of group, they're grouped up. Um, Haunt's doing all my work for me uh, even when I'm not next to things. Oh scary skeletons! It's 
kind of sad, really. Yeah. The only real existence is to bounce my heart to other uh, enemies. What was that skeleton hiding in that barrel? to knock the walls over crush crush other crystal enemies the walls did I get anything oh boots Villagers doing down here in this crypt. This is like the, the royal, like the royal cathedral. Well, no, it's technically not the crypt yet. Or we're, we're above ground, so I guess I can't fault him for being in the cathedral. Poor, poor villagers. Blizzard really did a great job with, with these environments in terms of. Well, everything really. Textures are good. Well, that's an understatement. Textures are amazing, and just the the lighting and, and tone of all the all the environments in this game are just ten out of ten. Would stare with my eyes again. Bring all the jars. Gotta basically desecrate this ancient crypt. See if maybe something comes out of the, out of something I broke. Well, I never let the dead rest. Tune in next time to find out. Ooh, cutscene! Poke! There's a way to get a lot more experience from this, but fortunately because I was using Haunt, when my Haunt killed an enemy, it bounced to the, uh, the little spawn towers, so it went a lot faster than that. Because you can kind of keep going with it if you avoid killing the towers, you just kill all the enemies that spawn and rack up a bunch of kills and get more experience that way. Grasp of the Dead, that's a good one. Okay. 
never have too much crowd control. Oh, it's on that. Oh, it's good. Oh! More enemies. Getting a little bit of uh, live spikes here. We have just arrived in Frisco. I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken down monastery. Hardly fit for the king of Condoris. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power. compulsory to just break things in this game. Can't stop. Won't stop. Breaking jars. I mean, after I got that legendary you have the random jar, can you blame me? These jars I can break. Hey buddy. That's a big hand. I know. This one the hand. Oh. Did someone skip this? Okay, so I don't know what the heck happened here, but I got stuck or something. I, I, I check, obviously my latency is pretty high right now, so I just keep getting popped back to the place I was. And uh, I did this, 
you know, for quite a while, and I just kept, I was like, okay, good, oh, uh, but no, oh, yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh, but, oh, uh, and I couldn't pick up my legendaries, and I was getting, getting kind of, getting kind of upset, uh, because, you know, this game is about picking up loot, and if I can't do that, then that means I have to do it all over again. Eventually, it I got somehow got unstuck and uh, was able to actually pick up my uh, my legendaries and loot them. So that was good. See, I'm like, oh, should I quit? Oh, how frustrating. So eventually, when I got unstuck. I looted my, I looted all the stuff, and was able to identify these legendaries. And I got two. One was a sword, pretty cool, good damage upgrade, and the other one was a staff. The staff was amazing, and it had a secondary skill. As you can see, fire bats attack 100% faster and cost. 73% less mana, which basically creates an unlimited fire build, fire bat build for me. Because all I have to do is I, I could even make fire bats my my primary because they don't they cost no mana, and with spiritual attunement, I have increased maximum mana, and two percent of my total mana is regen every second. So that's just unlimited fire bats. So it's going to be sad when I have to replace that staff because it's just a really awesome staff. Look at this. Just, just look at this. This is crazy. Just fire bats for days. So I went through the checkpoint and I saved the fallen star, which is actually. Spoiler alert, it's actually a dude. It's an important dude. I probably should put a spoiler tag on this video, but you know, Diablo 3 has been out for years, so I, I don't think I will. Go play Diablo 3. It's an amazing game. Look how amazing this is! This is just they, they put they put a big smile on my face. So you are the fire of the earth and the sky. Why do I find you here? I found you. I saved you. We saved. Come on, stranger. Let's go to town. I really like the way they did these, uh, almost as if, as if they're being drawn by hand during the fact. Great, uh, great graphical representation, Blizzard, you did a good job. Uh, by the way, I have, <laughs> I have, I have no monetary sponsorship from Blizzard whatsoever. Uh, I just really enjoy their games. Um, they put a lot of time and effort into them. You should play them. And uh, Blizzard, if you're, if you're hearing this, uh, I'd be happy to enter into some sort of monetary sponsorship. Wink, wink. Uh, just kidding. So I'm just disenchanting stuff. Oh, 
Hopefully those are good comps. Ugh, I'm sorry, that was just gross looking. I love it. Oh, I'm just uh, trying to get a good... There we go. I'm gonna salvage the others. And equip the one I like. Don't need a shield because I got an awesome staff. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, it's a small upgrade, but it's better than. Random number gods are not with me on this one. That's a really cool uh, effect on that staff. Uh, it looks pretty similar to the actual basic fire bats uh, effect that you get when, it, when it's just the cone. So, um, I don't remember the, uh, the effects on weapons being as representative of what they had on the weapon as they used to be, so, I mean, just looking at that, I can tell that affects the fire red spell in some way, which, I really like that. If that's a recent ad, it's, a, I, I like it. <laughs> 